Hey everybody, how are we going out there? My name is Sin, I am the Crypt Keeper, and first of all, I'd just like to, you know, acknowledge that it has been quite a while since I've made a video, it's been about a week, which feels like a month, you know, we all know that crypto time travels a lot, lot slower than normal time, you know, one day in the crypto sphere is like a week or a month in regular time. It does feel like that, guys. Um, however, look, I've just been really, really busy. I've had lots of stuff happening in my life. I have a few other businesses, um, you know, that, that I manage and that I run that have required a lot of my attention, a lot of my time, and will require a lot more coming up. I run a club night here in Melbourne uh, that I do quarterly, and we have our first birthday coming up on the 18th of May. So I've been really busy trying to organize uh, some interstate DJs and um, just some other stuff for that. Our first birthday coming up, which is very, very exciting. However, to the crypto world, we've had a very exciting week, have we not? Altcoins have been going through the roof. Uh, Bitcoin has been pretty steady around that $8,000 mark. Let's go to US for a second just to see. Bitcoin, there we go, $8,200 uh, for the Bitcoin price. It's It's been relatively stable, has been a little bit higher, has been a little bit slower, but the excitement has been amongst all of the altcoins uh, is where we have seen all that stuff happening uh, <clears throat> excuse me we, you know we've seen lots of positives uh, across the board especially a few days ago where everything was 30 percent 40 percent 50 percent 60 70 80 percent up you know over the week there were some ridiculous numbers going on you know some of them that i want to talk about silica has been going great uh someone that i really want to talk about one of them called mithril this one right here and another one which is pundi x um, you know, which are two that I've had my eye on for quite a while now. So let's just focus on those two. Just want to do a real short video. Wow, look at this. Putting out 42%. Uh, so Mithril, Mithril caught my attention when I saw it just after it had come out of, uh, been released onto exchange out of its ICO. I didn't hear a thing about this during its ICO stage. I knew nothing about this coin at all. What got my attention was that it was released on, you know, the 25th of March at nine US cents. And it just was a steady rise for the next three days, all the way up to 85, even a bit higher, all the way up to about 90 or so US cents uh, before a dump back down, you know, to about 24 cents. But the fact that it just was released and it climbed the whole way up without really dumping at all, I expect to usually see it dump a little bit quicker sooner than that. Uh, anyway, it went back down and then gradually made itself made its way all the way back down to a low of about 17 cents. And then bang, out of nowhere, 13th of April went from 21 cents up to about 50 cents and now is up at a dollar and six, a dollar five, a dollar two. Uh, so this thing has been, you know, absolutely going through the roof. I'm not even sure what its ICO price was. Let's see if it is an ICO drop sale. Let's check out the ICO price on this one. Mithril. Uh, I did do a little bit of research on it and saw that it is a... Oh, did I spell that right? I did. See, there's nothing on ICO drops at the moment. Uh, it's a social media um, platform, I believe, a decentralized social media platform. And so clearly with everything that's been happening with Facebook, we know that decentralized social media uh, is going to be you know, pretty huge in the future. And that is why I believe that it is uh, has, has done what it has done since it's hit exchanges. Another coin that's been going absolutely nuts is Pundi X. Now, Pundi is something that I invested in in the ICO stage back in, oh, would have been like December, January. I'm not even sure exactly when that was. Uh, we can have a look at that actually and check out my investment section of my spreadsheet. The spreadsheet, guys, is available uh, for you all. Just go to my website at www.thecryptkeeper.com. All you got to do is enter your email address in there and you can have access to my spreadsheet. Uh, so a little tab that you can see there is all of the different investments that I have made. These are the ones that have gone through my my investments into ICOs. These are ICO investments only. So you can see Pundix was my third investment. And that date, that was on the 21st of January. And I had two Ether. I believe I put two Ether into that. I can't really remember. I was at the beginning stages of, of my crypto uh, ICO ICO life, life there. Um, however, look, recently this thing has just gone absolutely nuts, you know, when this hit exchanges. So what happened with Pundi, though, is that it began at a $3, well, well this is Australian prices here, $3.60, I believe, Australian uh, AUD price. And what they did was they divided the entire currency by 1,000. So the coins became divided by 1,000 and the number of tokens were increased by 1,000. 
So my 1,000 tokens became 1 million tokens. The $3.60 ICO price became 0.0036 ICO price. So when this hit the exchanges, it was down at 0.001. So it was well under the ICO price and remained that way for a long time. So it hit uh, exchanges on the 23rd of March and it just stayed there. It didn't do anything really. You know, it just slowly, slowly rises and, and dropped a little bit, did nothing. But then, you know, a, a few days ago, maybe like a week ago, it started making this monumental move upwards. And I believe it came after we had a, and let's see, this is April 16th, there was an announcement made. Uh, even just before the announcement, it had already started moving, uh, making some ground in the upward direction. And then they announced through Medium that they were going to have a buyback program for a partnership reserve fund that they were introducing. Along with that, they also announced that they plan to ship 4,000 pre-ordered units uh, in quarter two of 2018 and a commitment of 20,000 devices from our partners at the NEM Foundation and recent sales uh, are yet to be announced in deals. We have already achieved nearly one quarter of our low end three year target for global distribution just months after our initial public token sale. So that's that was great news, you know. The public loved hearing about that. Token holders loved hearing that they were well ahead of their targets that they want to reach. Um, along with that, they, they spoke about um, you know a little problem that they may be encountering, such as uh, having to dig into their, their reserve. And so what they did was they're going to initiate a buyback scheme. Uh, so here, we'll just read about a little bit here. The purpose of the, the PRF, the PRF being the uh, Partnership Reserve Fund, is to encourage and develop partnerships within Pundi's um, blockchain networks, such as strategic business relationships and new advisors, community members, merchants, exchanges, banks, and technical partners, among others. The fund will be used to subsidize the rollout of XPOS devices, cover transaction fees, uh, marketing costs, lighting costs, etc., etc., etc. So they plan to buy back the equivalent of 2,000 Ethereum in their own tokens, and they'll be doing that in separate stages that'll be rolling out slowly. The first stage has been completed; it was to be completed, there, and they they bought an equivalent of 200 Ether. So there's 10 times that to go. So an update here on April the 17th was that we plan to execute the buyback price between 0 0.003 and 0 0.0036 US cents no, dollars. And uh, update on April the 19th, they had executed the first buyback of NPXS equivalent to 200 Ether at 0 0.0036. And they have the Ether scan address here that you can have a look at. So they're doing it. Uh, yeah, that's, that's right there. So you can see they purchased 20, just over 29 million of their own tokens back. And that may be one of the reasons, along with the awesome figures they showed with 4,000 units already rolled out, another 20,000, um, you know, ready to go out for, uh, under NEMS systems there. Um, and that may be why people are getting on board. They know that there's going to be hundreds and hundreds of ether of these purchased by the own the company themselves. Plus, they have uh, at the ICO stage they had a bonus scheme. So depending on what stage of the ICO you purchase, you were entitled to either 15, 10, or 5 percent bonus at the end of every month. So the 30th of this month, 30th of April, there'll be uh, I know I'll be getting 15 percent bonus on all of my tokens. So the, the number of tokens that I have in my address, um, I will get 15% bonus on top of that. So there's all these different reasons why, um, you know, we've seen Pundi go over 400, 500% in the last week up, which is absolutely huge. Uh, let's see exactly what percentage that is uh, on a weekly. Uh, just go back a second. Select all. Just let that load percentage. So let's have a look at the highest seven day percentage movers. And when this wants to load for me. Okay, so we've got something here called crypto, which has gone up 7,300%. Green coin, 3,000, sorry, 3,700, 3,700 again. Circulated supply. Um, look at these market caps. They're not tiny. Okay, 1 million there. That's pretty tiny. 35 million. Then we've got Madcoin, 800. We've got Pundi here. He's the fourth highest mover over the week at 556%. That is huge, 556%. It is now a $245 million market cap, sitting at about uh, 68 in the top 100 coins. Guys, this has potential to, to be up there. I mean, especially when we hit a, a, a bull market, which we are not in at the moment. You know, this thing has the potential to be at least a billion, maybe even two, three billion. Who knows? You know, what they're doing is is they're bringing crypto to the masses. They have a little uh, point of point of sales device that will be in, in retail shops all over the, the Southeast Asian 
um, market where you'll be able to purchase things with your crypto card and you'll also be able to buy Bitcoin at any of these shops. And that's why they have all these little cool units that, that have been, um, you know, going out all over the shop. Um, yeah, so that, that, you know, look, is it, is it too late to buy? Who knows? You know, we had a massive dump today and then it climbed straight back up there really quickly, you know, which I was shocked about. I thought that may have been a big dump and it may have stayed that way. Um, however, it didn't at all. So you can have a look here. It climbed all the way up to a high of about five US cents and then dumped down to 0.0034. Sorry, when I say five, I mean 0.005. Uh, it dumped all the way down to 0 0.0034, and now it went straight back up there, now sitting at about 0 0.004. So whether people are holding until the bonus at the end of the month, whether they're holding until the buyback is over, whether they're holding because of the awesome news that have been announced uh, on their medium, who knows? Either way, it's an exciting time right now, you know, if you're an altcoin holder, Hold tight. If your coins haven't mooned yet, I believe they are all about to make some sort of move, whether it's now, whether it's tomorrow, whether it's in a month, whether it's in two months. I think by the latest uh, August or so, July, August, September, we're going to see some real movement all over the markets and you're going to have a lot and a lot of happy people. So that's all for that, guys. Again, my spreadsheet is available for you guys here. I haven't done an ICO review for quite a while. However, I will get onto some of those again now that I have some free time opening up on my hands. You can access the spreadsheet through www.thecryptkeeper.com uh, and you will find all these details in the description section below as well as a link to the Medium post that you can have read at. So that's all for me for now, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will hopefully see you guys again really, really soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.